Well, a bad situation is getting better, but not fast enough. Huge backups leaving Boston following a tractor trailer crash on 93. The crash is cleared, but the traffic still very much a mess. Yeah, and that includes side roads. WBZ's Brandon Truitt used some of those side roads just to get to Dorchester. Brandon, we checked. It's taking more than an hour to get through that seven mile backup on 93 South. Yeah, David and Lisa, uh, the road is looking a little bit better, but it did take us about an hour, 15 minutes on back roads just to get here from Alston. I want to show you what it's looking like now. You're still seeing those taillights, but hey, at least it's moving. We're here at the Savin Hill T-Stop. This all happened just a little bit north of here, and the delays have been stacked up as well. If we go live to Sky Eye, you can see some of that traffic that is backing up along 93 South. State police opening all lanes just over an hour ago, and they tell us that this this crash involved four vehicles. Only one of them uh, was uh, one of them was a tractor trailer that rolled over and slammed into a wall uh, that separates 93 from the MBTA tracks. If we go to some video that happened a little earlier today, uh, we this was from around one this afternoon. The debris from this crash actually caused the red line to stop service between Quincy and UMass JFK for hours. That service has since resumed. Again, all lanes on 93 South are now open, but it's going to take a while for traffic to thin out. This four, ve four vehicle crash um, had minor injuries, but my goodness, it has caused major delays um, for miles on 93 South. It is expected to take hours for this to fully thin out. We're live in Dorchester. Brandon True at WBZ News. All right, good luck on your way back, Brandon. Thank you. Take a look at our next traffic map. You can see there really is no great way around this right now. 93 is still backed up, although again, traffic's moving. The Mass Pike and 95 south out of Boston, also a mess, south of Boston rather. And a live look at the Zaken Bridge, the backup stretching all the way up north of the city. So bottom line here, if you have to hit the roads around Boston, just expect to be dealing with some lingering delays tonight.